want to make your foam glider fly like this, And stick around for this episode of the Sonic Builders Club and we'll show you how to build your very own Sonic Glider Launcher. For this project we'll need a piece of foam board, some masonry line, an elastic exercise band, some metal keychain rings, a jumbo popsicle stick and paper clip, some thick poster board and a tent stake. I'll give you a link to step-by-step -step instructions that include the template pages at the end of this video. Let's start by building a reel for our launch cord. After printing the template sheet on a full sheet printer label, we'll stick it down on a piece of foam board and then cut the two reel pieces out with an X-Acto knife. And now we'll slide the interlocking reel pieces together and add some hot glue on each joint. Now it's time to cut the exercise band into one inch wide strips. And the easiest way to do that is to leave it inside the package and mark five lines one inch apart. Then we'll cut the strips with sharp scissors. You should end up with six bands. Tie one end of one of the strips to a large keychain ring with a double knot so it won't come loose. Now tie all six elastic strips together end to end with double knots. With the ring around one of the tabs on the reel, we can start to wind the elastic, but it's really important to count the number of wraps as we go. After the last wrap, write the number of wraps down so you won't forget it. Now we'll tie a double knot in the loose end of the elastic and then tie on the masonry line with a double knot. And now we'll start to wind the masonry line onto the reel, keeping track of the count as we go. We need to wrap four times the number of lines as we did elastic. So for example, if we wound 18 wraps of elastic, then we would want to wind 72 wraps of line. After the last wrap, cut the line and then tie on a small keychain ring that's about an inch in diameter using a double knot. Now we'll print and stick down the trim tab template on a piece of thick poster board, then cut them out with scissors. With an X-Acto knife, we'll cut two slots in the glider's elevator like this, then carefully slide the trim tabs into the slot and tape them in place. Then we'll add the rudder trim tab and tape it in place. Now we can attach the stabilizer in the glide position like this. We'll make the glider launch hook by marking a jumbo popsicle stick using the template and then cut the base and cap piece with heavy duty shears. We'll use a jumbo paper clip for the metal hook and straighten it out first by hand and then using pliers. Then we'll bend the wire in half and crimp it tight. Then we'll use the template to mark and bend the cut lines. Needle nose pliers are really handy for bending the hook shape and we'll check the hook angle on our template. Now we'll cut off the extra wire and make the last two bends like this. A few beads of hot glue will tack the hook to the cap piece and then we'll add some more glue and attach the base with the back edges lined up flush. And then we'll fill in any gaps with hot glue. If you want to, you can use a permanent marker to color the hook base black. To make it easier to adjust the hook position later, we'll apply two strips of clear packing tape on the bottom of the fuselage where the wings attach. The launch hook is attached with two strips of clear tape. We'll attach the hook centered on the fuselage and with the vertical part of the hook centered on the wing socket like this. And the last step is to attach the wings. And now that our glider and launcher are finished, let's go have some fun. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is unwind our launch cord and we're gonna start with this ring and we're gonna lay it down right here. So I want you to take the reel and start walking that way and I'll help you unwind it. Hold it sideways, we'll, yeah, perfect. Okay, let's go straight that way. Got a couple of my nephews helping us out today. Last couple of wines. Cool. Okay, now we gotta put a stake in the grass and for that we're gonna use Jake because he's got muscles. <sighs> I've got gravity on my <laughs> side if nothing else. Okay, right here? Yep. Straight Looks down, good. angled. What is Angle that way, okay. 45 degrees. Oh, <laughs> someone needs to eat their Wheaties. Okay, Jake's not doing it. Wes, you want to do it for us, please? Oh, okay, give it a push. 
sometimes I, I do it like this. It's kind of oh. tricky. Got okay, it. cool. All right, okay, we got the launch cord out. Now what we have to do is check the trim of the glider. If the glider's not flying well, launching by hand, it's going to fly even worse on the launcher. So I've got my elevator trim tab set. That's about the angle that I like. You can see my rudder trim tab is set for a right hand turn. So what I'm going to do is test the uh, elevator trim tabs with a, I'm going to launch it, I'll launch it this way. I'm going to launch it level and see how it glides. Okay, that's perfect. And what I like to do is as soon as I start feeling the cord pulling, I'm going to take about 40 to 50 paces and that's where we're going to launch from. Okay, we're ready to launch and we've got the launch hook exactly in the center on the mold line and it's also centered between the front front edge of the wing and the trailing edge. So now we got to look at how well it tracks during the launch. Okay, now we'll just hook the metal ring on the hook and we're going to hold it with the nose just slightly up and as soon as we let it go it'll take off. Okay, what, what we're going to watch for is whether or not the glider tracks straight up. If it goes to the left or the right, we'll make a change on the hook to compensate for that. Okay, Wes, you want to launch this thing? I like that. Okay, when you're ready, let it go. Okay, that was tracking slightly to the left, so we'll have to make a change. All right, you can see I've moved the hook over to the left slightly, and you, you can do it in little incremental moves. And we'll launch it again and see how it tracks. Cool. Now come around the back of the glider. All right, are you ready? Okay, let her go. That's much better. In case you're wondering what all this white stuff is, it's ice. There was a church group of kids ice blocking down this hill behind us before. Looks kind of funny because it's 100 degrees out here. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Are we clear for takeoff? Sure. You're number <laughs> one on the runway. All right. Let's do it. What do you think of this? You like the glider? It goes higher than you could throw it, doesn't it? Okay. Hook it on there. Awesome. Are you ready? Yeah. You need to take it back. Let it go.
I need, but you tackled it. That's okay. I have glue to fix gliders. And we have another one. That was a great tackle, bud. That was awesome. Yeah. I was so close. So you can fly. I'm, I'm guessing no. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Record flight. <laughs> That's about 10 feet. That's about how far they flew when I was a kid. In the project instructions, you'll find instructions on how to properly wind and unwind this thing. And there's a reason why, folks. This is what happens when you try to shortcut it and skip steps, which I did. Shh, don't tell it was me. You get a big nasty mess, just like that one. You can download step-by-step -step instructions that include the template sheets by clicking on this link. And if you like this project, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for the next episode of the Sonic Builders Club. Okay, so let's try this. Move the wings forward a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. 11 feet, you win. <laughs> Let me try. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our channel. Or click here to visit our website.